This is the scary story about the screaming. There was a teenage boy who was walking around a park one day when he suddenly heard a voice screaming for help, but there was nobody around him. The boy was very frightened and didn't know what was happening. The screaming sounded like it was coming from underneath the ground, but the boy did not know for sure. The screaming still continued, so he called the police. When the police arrived, they heard the screaming too and also believed it was coming from underneath the ground. The police officers then got shovels and began digging into the ground and what they found left them all frozen. There was a container with a girl in it buried underground. The girl was badly beaten and bloody. They then asked her what happened and she said a man kidnapped and beat her, then buried her alive. To this day, it's a miracle on how this girl survived and the person who did it was never even caught. This is the disturbing truth behind a game that brainwashed and mind controlled people. This game was called Polybius. It was released in 1981 at arcades in Portland, Oregon. Polybius became very popular. It was extremely addictive and people would wait in very long lines just to play it. However, there is something very sinister about the game. People playing would experience very strange things, such as hearing the sound of a woman screaming crying and seeing demonic faces out of the corner of their eyes and messages coming across the screen saying things like kill yourself. After playing the game, people would have horrible nightmares, others experienced extreme nausea, diarrhea and vomiting, and others got headaches and blacked out. Also they hallucinated and got vertigo. Some very unlucky people even committed suicide. Also mysterious men in black suits would come and take the game's data and change all the settings, leading people to believe that it's a government experiment to brainwash people and control their minds. This is a scary story about the doctor. There was a girl named Abby who went to the hospital for a sickness. She had a very nice doctor named Dr. Knight. Abby was supposed to be in the hospital for only a week, but Dr. Knight kept insisting that it was not smart to leave yet. As the weeks went by, Abby felt sicker and weaker and told Dr. Knight that she wasn't feeling any better and that she was actually feeling worse. Dr. Knight assured Abby that she was all right and told her to keep fighting. Abby ended up being there for a month and it turned out she was slowly dying. One night, Dr. Knight went into Abby's room and sat down beside her bed and said, Abby, I am really sorry, and I hated that I had to do this. Had to do what, said Abby. Dr. Knight then said, I've been draining your blood from your body for the past month. My wife is dying and your blood was the perfect match. I'm sorry, but I'm really not. This is the scary story about the mom. One night, there was a six-year-old girl who woke up in the middle of the night to her mom standing over her bed, staring down at her with a creepy smile on her face. The girl knew something was wrong, but she couldn't put her finger on it. The girl then said, Mom. Yes, she replied. What are you doing? The girl asked. Watching you sleep, she said. Why, said the girl. The mom didn't say anything and kept staring at her smiling. They each didn't say a word to each other for minutes, but still keeping eye contact with each other. Then the mom began to walk backwards, still staring at the girl with that creepy smile, and then went into the girl's closet and shut the door. The girl then got up and ran to her mom's bedroom and saw her mom asleep in her bed. This is the scary story about the high school boyfriend. There was a girl named Jamie who had a boyfriend. She was just about to graduate high school and go to college, so she decided to break up with him. This made him go completely crazy. He began threatening her, and he called and texted her over 200 times a day. He began hiding in her car and waiting for her, and when Jamie told him to stop, he then came after her with a knife. Then one night, he broke into Jamie's house. It was 5 o'clock in the morning and her whole family was home. Jamie's dad then heard something downstairs, so he went down to check it out. And when he saw his daughter's ex-boyfriend, he sprinted at him and tackled him, and then put a gun in his mouth and said, I will kill you if you come near my daughter again. Jamie never heard from him ever again. This is the scary story about the ceiling fan. It was a very hot summer day, and there was a brother and sister home alone. Their parents had gone over to their friend's house for the day. The brother and sister were playing on a small trampoline in the garage, and then they moved it up to their bedroom. However, after hours of jumping on the trampoline, the brother and sister began to get very hot and decided to move the trampoline in their room with the ceiling fan. After a while, they became bored and they decided to spice it up by having a competition. They said whoever jumped the highest won. The brother went first and he jumped as high as he could. But when he jumped, he jumped so high that he hit the ceiling fan and it cut off his head. The sister began to scream and cry and thought that she would be blamed for this because it was her idea to move the trampoline in there. She then super glued her brother's head back on his body and put his corpse in his bed. When their parents got home later that day, they went up to the boy's room to tell him they were home, but he didn't respond. 
The mother then went over to him and started shaking him violently, making the boy's head fall off. The mother screamed in horror as her son's body lay there dead. This is the scary story about the collector. There was a man named Tyler who loved collecting things, from toys to baseball cards. One day he went to the store to get more things to collect, when a random man came up to him and said, You like collecting things I see. Tyler giggled and said yeah. The man then said so do I but it's not things like this. Tyler then got creeped out and walked away. When he got home, he couldn't stop thinking about what the man said to him. He then thought to himself he was overreacting and stopped thinking about the whole situation. That night when Tyler was in bed, he heard something coming from downstairs. He was convinced he was hearing things, so he thought nothing of it. Until his door slowly opened, and standing there was the man from the store. Tyler screamed, but before he could move, the man was already in front of him and put something over his mouth. When Tyler woke up, he was chained to a wall, and he was missing a leg. Then he looked around and saw the man from the store coming out of the corner of the room. He then said, See, I told you I collected stuff. I collect humans. Now, you're mine forever. This is a scary story about the strange dream. One summer day, a kid named Chris lost his footing and fell off a cliff. He landed on a ledge and it saved his life, but he was badly injured and had to be rescued. He hit his head on the fall and he was unconscious. The doctors found swelling in his brain and he had to get surgery immediately. After the surgery, he went into a coma. A few days later, he recovered and his friend went to go visit him in the hospital. Chris then told him about the strange dream he had while he was unconscious. In the dream, he was at a train station. There was nobody else in sight. When the train pulled up to the station, he got in. There was nobody on the train. He was completely alone. Then he heard a crackling voice on the speakers. It said, next stop, final stop next stop end of line something about the announcement sent the chill down his spine and he jumped out of his seat and managed to get off the train just as the doors were closing he woke up from his coma the doctor said he was between life and death he then said to his friend if i hadn't gotten off that train i believe the end of the line meant i would have died this is the scary story about the purse there was a girl named cindy who was at a grocery store when she saw a woman wearing a purse that she really liked cindy then went up to the girl and said where did you get that purse? The girl then said I make them myself. Cindy thought that was so cool and asked the girl if she could make her one. The girl told Cindy that she could show her how she makes them and to come over her house tonight so she could give her one. Cindy happily agreed. That night when Cindy got to the girl's house, the girl opened the door. She had a glass of wine waiting for Cindy. Cindy took the wine and they began to walk around the house and talk. A couple minutes later, Cindy began to feel lightheaded and she then passed out. When she woke up, she felt an immediate pain all over her body. When she looked around, she realized that she was in an empty room and that the whole lower half of her body had been skinned. A couple seconds later, the girl then came into the room and said, I was running out of skin to make my purses, so I took yours. I'm sorry, but your skin was too perfect. This is the creepy story about the friend. There was a girl named Katie who did not have any friends. She always went to the park to meet new people, but sadly she never did. Until one day she was walking around the park, and a girl her age came up to her and started talking to her. Katie was ecstatic. The two girls began talking and playing games together. Katie was so happy she finally had a friend and asked the girl to come over her house. The girl gladly accepted. When they got to Katie's house, Katie yelled to her mom to come meet her new friend. When her mom came over, she asked Katie where's her friend. Katie said right here and turned around but there was nobody there. Katie swore she was with the girl all day. Katie's mom just giggled and thought it was cute. That night, Katie was watching TV when a breaking news alert came up on the screen. It was a picture of Katie's friend that she made that day with the caption saying, Girl's dead body found in park. This is the scary story about the kittens. A little girl had kittens and one day they disappeared. After a couple days, she asked her mother what happened to them and her mother said God took them. Months later, the cat again had kittens. The girl's mother wanted her to run some errands. But before she left, she wanted to play with the kittens. She heard her father carrying a bucket trying to hide it. She then watched her father drown the kittens in a bucket of water. Later, the girl asked her mother what happened to the kittens, and she said God took them. Several days later, the mother asked the girl to watch her brother in the bathtub while she answered the phone. When the mother returned, she started screaming, What happened to him? What happened to him? The little girl then told her, God took him. This is the creepy story about the first boyfriend. There was a girl named Rachel who just got her first boyfriend. She was so happy and never felt this way before in her life. Every day she brought him over her house and her dad began to get annoyed because she wasn't spending that much time with him anymore. 
One day, Rachel's dad told her that her boyfriend was not allowed over the house anymore. Rachel began screaming and crying and ran up the stairs and went to her room. A couple days later, Rachel decided to sneak her boyfriend in the house one night. When her boyfriend got to the house, Rachel tiptoed down the stairs and let him in. Then they went to her room. About 30 minutes later, her boyfriend had to go to the bathroom. Rachel whispered to him to be quiet. After 10 minutes, her boyfriend was still not back. So she went out to see what was taking him so long. But right when she opened her door, her dad was standing there covered in blood. And behind him laid her boyfriend's dead body. Her dad then looked at her with a smile on his face and said, Nobody will ever take my little girl from me.